Now in this part of the question, we've got to solve 2 tan squared theta plus 4 sec theta plus sec squared theta equals 2. For theta, greater than or equal to 0 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. Now, to solve a trig equation like this, we've got to make sure that they're all in the same trig function. We've got tans here and we've got sec here. And uh, we were given an identity to prove in the first part of this question. We saw that tan squared theta was the same as sec squared theta minus 1. So what we can do is change this to 2 times sec squared theta minus 1. As I say, that came from the first part. Tan squared theta was identical to sec squared theta minus 1. Then we've got plus 4 sec theta plus sec squared theta and that equals 2. So we've achieved a trig equation in one trig function. So we should be able to solve it. And we can expand this and we get 2 sec squared theta minus 2 and then the other two terms 4 sec theta plus sec squared theta equals 2. If we group together the sec squared thetas we're going to have 3 sec squared theta and then we'll take the sec theta term, 4 sec theta, and this is a quadratic in sec theta, so we need to make it equal 0, so we'll subtract 2 from both sides. So we've got minus 2 minus another 2 is minus 4, and that equals 0. So we've got our quadratic equation in the right format, and I suspect this factorizes, so on that assumption I'm going to have a couple of brackets here and indeed it does factorize. We've got 3 sec theta and a sec theta here. That's going to times out to give 3 sec squared theta. And if I look carefully, we're going to have minus 2 and a plus 2 here. Minus 2 times plus 2 gives the minus 4. And you'll notice that you get 6 sec theta when you multiply 3 sec theta with the 2. Minus 2 sec theta, that gives us our 4 sec theta. So it means that either 3 sec theta minus 2 equals 0 or the other factor sec theta plus 2 equals 0. So if we take the first factor we're going to make sec theta the subject. If we add 2 to both sides that means 3 sec theta equals 2. Divide by 3 and you get that sec theta equals two-thirds. And for the other one, if we subtract two from both sides, we end up with sec theta equals minus two. Now sec theta is one over cos theta, so we therefore have one over cos theta equals two-thirds, or one over cos theta equals minus two. And if we rearrange this to make cos theta the subject, you're going to have that therefore cos theta equals 3 over 2 or cos theta equals minus a half. Now let's start with when cos theta equals 3 over 2. So we'll just come down here, we'll just separate that off. So when cos theta equals 3 over 2, then theta is going to be equal to the inverse cos of 3 over 2. Now if you were to work this out on your calculator, take the inverse cos of 3 over 2, you'd get an error. And we should know that because cosine of theta, remember the graph of cos theta, just goes between 1 and minus 1. And this is 1.5, so therefore there's going to be no solution. So we've got no solution for this one. Let's take the other one. When cos theta equals minus a half, when cos theta equals minus a half, then obviously theta is going to be equal to the inverse cos of minus a half. 
And to solve this, you could either draw a graph, cos theta, or the quadrant method, which is what I'm going to use. Okay, so that'd be naught degrees. Where is cosine negative? Cosine is negative in the second and third quadrants. And by the way, if you're unfamiliar with the quadrant method, just go on my website and look under the quadrant method in the index for tutorials, and you should find plenty of tutorials on this. Marking those two angles to the horizontal that are exactly the same, and we require this angle round here, theta, and we also require this one round here. Okay, that's another possible theta. So, if you inverse cos theta on your calculator, make sure you're in degrees mode as well, you should find you get 120 degrees. And that is basically that red theta here. So if that's 120 degrees, that means that what's left over here must be 60 degrees to make up 180. There'll be a further 60, 60 degrees here because these two blue angles are exactly the same. So you've got 180 plus another 60 degrees and that gives you 240 degrees. And there you have the solution then to the equations.